wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code, 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 What's the mask for? I asked you not to turn around. Continue pretending that you're reading that newspaper. All right, then. The disguise became necessary because they could be anywhere at all. Who are they? Don't turn around. We can't talk here, as this place is too unsafe. We'll communicate later. The code word is banana. Don't be looking for me. I'll find you. Ah. Uh, howdy. You never saw me here. What's up with him? Better not to ask. Uh, well, business as usual. <laughs> la, 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 la. La 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 Forgive me, my sensitive friend. According to my data, this is the only safe place. For some reason, I don't feel safe here at all. What's this about? Shh, quiet. This is not nonsense. My files and notes on solar activity have disappeared again. What kind of files? What activity? Ah, ah. ah yes, you're not in the know. The last several weeks I've been monitoring the sun. It's at a peak level of activity that will only occur again in 11 years. This kind of research in these conditions has never been conducted by anybody else except me. But every time I check the files about the most recent flare, it turns out that the camera at that moment was turned off. And what? An annoying coincidence for sure, but... It's not a coincidence. It's a consistent pattern. I looked in the spheroscope to see if the solar flares were affecting the equipment. And I discovered something terrible. Right now, I'm talking in the shower with a gigantic butterfly. What could possibly be worse? My naive friend, it's me, Daco. I'm just disguised as a butterfly. Just picture me without the wings and everything will make sense. I never would have guessed. Me too, I never would have guessed what was possibly responsible for my missing files. Who was responsible? It turns out that there is an ancient solar order. Its members guard some kind of secret about our star, which is known only to the Chosen Ones. Throughout the centuries, they have kept this secret and destroyed the work of anyone who comes close to discovering the truth. A likely story. Did you think it up yourself? You don't trust me. Look for yourself. Search for Solar Orders. No, it's them. The members of the Brotherhood. They've deleted all the information. But here it says it was deleted because it was completely unscientific. Don't you understand? Everything makes sense. My missing files, the deleted information from Spheroscope. They're watching me. My friend, it seems you're looking for connections where they don't exist. Have you ever heard of the null hypothesis? 
Our world is wonderful and diverse, and it is full of different laws and patterns. For example, the body falls down because of the force of gravity. Or if you eat a lot of ice cream during winter, you'll surely catch cold. Different scientists like to think up such laws and name them after themselves. But then we saw that many scientists had rushed with their conclusions, and their laws and explanations did not stand the test of time. No matter how strongly we wish to find an explanation for everything, in searching for the next explanation, we need to keep in mind that there simply may not be any consistent pattern or regularity. This rule is called the null hypothesis. All scientists can be divided into two types. One kind forgets about the existence of the null hypothesis and thinks up mounds of non-existent theories and laws. These are, as a rule, theoretical scientists. The other type are hard-working and practical. They spend years studying, researching nature in the smallest detail. It's their discoveries that last for centuries. Therefore, you should never rush to any conclusions, my friend. So, are you trying to say that my deductions are unfounded? That I'm a science hack of some kind? A few of your experiments have gone wrong, so you've already decided that you're on the threshold of some major discovery, but you're being hampered by some solar sect. I haven't made anything up. I'll prove it. Oh. Ah. Huh. What are you doing here all high and dry? Did the water shut off or something? Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no. Everything's working. Oh, thank you. That's much better. Hey! La da 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 la da da la da. La 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 la. Banana. Ah! 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 I think I'm beginning to hate that fruit. Today is the last chance to catch them red-handed. According to my calculations, the next solar flare will be soon. You'll see they're trying to stop me. I'm deeply grateful that you've decided to trust me with this information. However, why won't you address other members of the crew as well? I can't put everyone's life in danger. What, it's okay to risk mine? Now you'll see everything for yourself with your own eyes. Okay, but after this, no more bananas. So now, I'll turn on the camera. Okay, there we go. And now, I'm going to take a walk. see exactly who these radical fanatics really are. Haven't you thought about how they could hide all this time on the sphere jet? Oh, don't underestimate them. Judging from everything I've read about them, they are very crafty and will go to any length to guard their secrets. Therefore, take this just in case. Wake up! The solar flare will happen any minute now. Oh, oh. And I was having such a pleasant dream where we were catching some radical fanatics. Ah, yes. It wasn't actually a dream. What? Did you hear that? Long ago. The flowers grew like the Lord in my heart. But the springtime. Oh my God! Oh, what have you done, Docker? 
do you understand that you have just wrecked a most important experiment? Your experiments don't interest me. My job is cleanliness. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. Right, How get your you feet up. Come on, quickly. <laughs> 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 but what's so funny? <laughs> I don't even know what to be more upset about. About the experiment that was sabotaged? Or the Brotherhood of the Solar Order that doesn't even exist? At least your conspiracy theory about the sect didn't last too long. Sometimes it can take centuries for the no hypothesis to triumph. A long time ago, there was a famous scientist named Edward Cope. He was an outstanding specialist on dinosaurs. Once, after comparing the changes in the development of dinosaurs, he came to a conclusion that every species gravitates towards increasing in size. He called this pattern Cope's Law and convinced everyone it was true. It took scientists a hundred years to understand that there was, in fact, no such pattern. If we examine every species, then we will see that some haven't changed for millions of years, and others still even decrease in size. <laughs> Since then, Cope's Law is one of the brightest examples of the null hypothesis's victory over rushed conclusions. Huh. I guess you could say I was incredibly lucky. Until the next cycle of solar activity, I have 11 years to properly prepare. He doesn't suspect anything? It seems not, but I would nevertheless point out that our methods were too blunt. We came extremely close to being discovered. Maybe it will be simpler to tell him. <laughs> Sooner or later, we have to. But for now, let him exist in ignorant bliss. Personally, I wish I had never learned our secret. Me too, to be honest. <gasps> ah! That's okay. You'll get used to it.